Good morning everyone. Today it is Monday the 12th of February and this is a very booky week so I thought I would vlog a few days wherever I can. Um, I don't think I've ever had such a busy week. I'm literally out of the house every single day this week but it's all for very exciting stuff. So today, tomorrow and Wednesday, so for three days I think, I'm going to be heading into a studio in Soho to record my audiobook, which is really exciting and I just have no idea what to expect. I really don't know what it's going to be like at all. But we discussed quite early on, um, every book needs an audiobook version, although I said like, I was like, I don't want people to buy the audiobook. I've worked so hard on like making the book look so special and there's like a few special things inside which I won't tell you about. So I was like, if people don't buy it, they won't see those things. But I know that some people just don't have time to read a book. And so it's really good to have the audio version as well. So we discussed early on whether I wanted someone else to record that or if I wanted to record it. I think it's more normal for some strange person who specializes in that to record it. But because the book's so personal about me, and you guys obviously know my voice so well, I think it would be weird to have a random lady reading it. So I said like, although I don't particularly want to do it, I feel like I should. So I'm going to be recording the audiobook, which is just so funny. Um, I think I'm literally going to be sitting in a booth on my own for three days, reading over and over and over again. I probably should have bought like throat sweets with me. It's going to be tiring, I think. Um, but it's really good. I haven't read the book in a while, so it'd be really good to read it again just before we start doing all the press and stuff. So that is what I'm doing. I'll put a link down below if you want to buy the audiobook version, but I'll also put a link if you want to buy the book because obviously I would love it if you bought the book. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing till Wednesday and then on Thursday we're heading to Suffolk to the printer where they are going to be printing my book and I'm going to be signing copies which are available on WH Smith online and Rich is coming, my mum's coming, I get to take home a few books that day which is so exciting because Rich hasn't actually read the book yet, I wanted him to read it like when it is a book. And no one else, no one in my family, none of my friends have read it, so I'm going to grab as many as I can so they can start reading it. And that'll be the first time I actually have the proper book in my hands, so I can't wait. I remember watching, like, Zoe go to the printers when she did her first book and just being like, wow, that looked amazing. So I can't wait, I'm so excited. And then Friday I've got a shoot with a brand, which is, like, not book related, but it's going to be a whole day shoot, so... Busy, busy week. Very exciting though. I can't wait. So I'm going to head into town now. I think Lucy, my manager, said she's going to come and settle me in and then leave me there. And yeah, like I said, I don't know what to expect, but I'm looking forward to it. I thought I'd bring you guys along to show you how, how you record an audiobook. Because I have no idea either. It is literally the most beautiful day ever today. I am almost at the studio. Google Maps is taking me quite an interesting way. We're in the studio. This is Sam, the producer. Hi. Hello. <laughs> and all the fancy knobs. I don't know what they do. And I'm going to be in there, <laughs> I think. It's very exciting. Very profesh. Okay, we've done 50 pages already and he was aiming for 100 in a day. It's only been like an hour, so I think I'm doing well. I was really worried about sounding too like monotone, but he said that it sounds really good. It's so cringe, I can't tell you. Like when you write a book, you're quite nervous for people to read it. Having to literally read it out loud to someone, it's really embarrassing. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's going well, it's such a weird thing to do. I can't really explain. Called Q, which is like my favorite place. It's got Saigon street food, it's really yummy. I'm gonna go stink out the studio. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday, day two of recording the audiobook. I don't know how I feel about going in today. Yesterday was like, because it was the first day, it was quite exciting, and now I know what to expect. I'm a bit like, oh god, I'm not entirely sure. I want to sit in a room by myself all day talking, but I'm gonna psych myself up for it and go in and hopefully smash it today and finish everything because it would be so good if I get a free day tomorrow to do filming and other stuff. So that is the plan. I'm gonna try to do it as fast as possible without actually speaking too fast. It's actually pancake day today. Um, I'm home alone right now, but I really, really wanted some pancakes. Now, don't shout at me, I did something really bad. I'm not great at making pancakes and I knew that I didn't have much time this morning because I have to go to the studio. I saw these last night in M&S. I know it's cheating. I know, they're like pre-made crepes that you heat up, but I really wanted some crepes. They're so good, they do these and the buttermilk ones. They had like a whole little section at M&S, so I'm just gonna make myself some crepes with lemon and sugar. Yes, yes. Oh my god, these smell so good. I can't wait. I know they don't look that appetizing, but 
they're gonna be good. I'm back in the studio again. I've got a big bottle of water because my mouth gets very dry. This is the iPad that I read the book off, which makes it very easy because I can just scroll up. Got tissues, for some reason my nose decides to get really runny when I'm in here. And I have love hearts in case my stomach starts to rumble because that happened yesterday. And I think I'm all ready. There are a few sections of the book where I needed another voice that isn't mine. So kindly, Amelia from Gleam has come to help. Amelia's here, thank you. How did you find that? It was fine. <laughs> you feel like you, you talk really in like such a monotone way when you have to read and it's, something. I said. And I said it feels like you're in English class and someone's <laughs> like, now it's your turn to read. Well, oh, so you don't realise how loud you are in there. Like now I realise every like sniff and everything oh, what, is me? over me as well look who's in the hot seat now oh, it's hi. charlie cox i haven't told you guys this yet but she wrote a poem especially for this book it's very exciting so i asked if she can come in and record it i'm so nervous don't I be nervous like have my, like, Mariah yeah like, ah. <laughs> but exactly it, <laughs> you should just sing it tone. just sing it <laughs> i am home i went for a quick bite to eat with Charlie, it was so nice to catch up with her and I'm so excited for you guys to read the poem that she wrote for my book. I feel so honoured that she wrote a poem just for the F word and it's beautiful. I literally said to her I would love a poem just about female friendship. A little spoiler, it's actually about heartbreak, female friendship heartbreak specifically and she sent me back this poem after like a few weeks of writing it and it was perfect. So I can't wait for you guys to read that in the book or listen to it on the audiobook. So I was meant to be taking three days to record the audiobook and I did it in a day and a half. Um, I'm so happy we finished at like two o'clock today. I'm thinking plan B job voiceovers. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna carry on vlogging on Thursday when we go to the printer and I'm really, really excited for that day. So I will speak to you guys then. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday and Today we're going to the printers. I can't believe it. I really struggled to sleep last night. I couldn't get to sleep at all. I'm like excited, but quite nervous as well. I feel like today is the beginning of when my book kind of no longer is mine anymore. I was talking to Charlie Cox about this the other day um, because she's also got a book coming out. We were saying how it's like your own little thing for so long that you've got control over. And then the minute it comes out, it like, goes out into the world and it's no longer yours anymore and people can like form their own opinions about it, read it in their own little ways and it's just terrifying um, but it's also really exciting and I think today's gonna be such a nice day. I feel like I'm like a bit detached from it, I can't, it doesn't feel like I'm actually going to see my book get printed. I know that I'm going somewhere today and that it's important but it doesn't feel real so I hope when I get there and I see it, it actually feels real because at the moment it's just like it's like I'm talking about something that doesn't that isn't really real anyway oh my god I'm a mess aren't I I'm gonna do my hair and makeup it's very early in the morning we're waiting for my mum to get here and then me Rich and my mum are gonna drive up to Suffolk it's not where Rich is from in Suffolk it's quite north Suffolk um, and we're gonna meet Bryony yeah. finally ready. Rich has popped out to get us some coffees and we're gonna go. By the way, this jumper that I'm wearing today is from Hush and I really like it, it's really comfortable. We got a special little parking area, that's us there. And this is Clay's where the book is getting printed. We're just waiting for the book, it's just starting to print now. He said he wants to have like a few coming out when I go in. So we're just looking at all the books that we printed here. There are so many. So many books. We're putting on our high vis jackets. Very sexy. Mum, you're going to love this. I'm not doing it very. It gets better. What, do we wear helmets? Oh. What is that? Helmet, oh, earplugs! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm going to be shouting in this vlog. <laughs> oh my god, is it really loud in there? Like so loud you need earplugs. <laughs> wow. Looking good, mum. 
<laughs> and Rich, Rich looks like a completely different person in a high-vis jacket, like all of a sudden. I don't know. This is the famous Briny that I'm always talking about. Are you excited? I'm really excited. Are you excited? I am. You've done this before. I've never done this. Ages though. And it's fun every time. Okay, let's fun. before the cover goes on. Oh, it's so crazy! Look at the inside. Oh, that is so cool, I love that. <laughs> I'm gonna sign loads of copies. I've got my Sharpie pens here. I'm gonna put a star on the first book that I sign and a heart on the last one so that if you guys, if you get one with a star, you know it was the very first book I signed. If you get one with a heart, you know it was the very last. Um, I don't know if there's any other like fun things we're supposed to be doing. But apart from that, I'm just gonna sign Lily. Keep it short and sweet because I think this is gonna take me. They've said it should take about two hours, so I'm aiming for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the book's coming in. <laughs> I can help. Okay, I'm going to sign the first book. Here, ready? Okay, the first one I'm going to do a star. Ta da! I'm on the last book. It took me an hour and a half. Knew it. <laughs> so competitive. Um, I'm going to put a heart on the last one so that if you get this one, you know it was the final one. There you go. Last one. <laughs> if you look on the inside of the book, this number, one minute. Here, one shows it's the first print. It's not really focusing, so that's apparently how you can tell. I didn't know that. Right, I am home, and wow, today was a really amazing day. I can't tell you how cool it was to see the whole process. Like, I don't think I really knew that the book starts like without a cover, and then they kind of make the edges rounded, and then they put the cover on, and and then they kind of round the corners. Like all the different steps that go into it is insane. It was such a special day. It was so nice to have Rich and my mum there as well. And then I signed all of the copies and they actually sold out today. So there was like a limited amount of signed copies on WH Smith and they did sell out. So thank you guys so much to everyone who ordered one of those. Obviously the book is still available on Amazon. Um, and when it comes out, it'll be in like Waterstone, Smith, it'll be in loads of places. Um, and I'm sorry if you didn't get a signed copy, but hopefully I'm going to be doing some events that maybe you guys can come to and I can sign yours, or if I see you somewhere I can sign it, like I am more than happy to do that. I can't believe how many people want a signed copy, I think that's just crazy. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much because it's been an amazing, like very book focused week. I can't believe I actually have my book. Like I bought a few copies home, which means that my mum now has a copy, I gave one to my sister, people are going to start reading it. It's so exciting. I feel like today was like an actual dream. I can't wait to edit this vlog and watch it back because then I feel like I'm really gonna like relive it and remember what actually happened today. It's getting really close to release day now and I'm just really grateful for everyone who has pre-ordered. And I just can't wait for the next few weeks. It's gonna be so exciting. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you on Wednesday, I think, for my next video. See you then. Bye.